Welcome to the another video of the electric drive. In this video, we are going to discuss about the steady state stability. Steady state stability of what? Of an electric drive. Suppose an electric motor is there. Uh, which motor we will consider? Let us say electric motor is there. We consider electric motor induction motor. If we have an induction motor and we would like to draw its speed torque characteristics, it would be look like this. It has got a speed torque characteristics in this way and you get a starting torque and usually this is the dotted line. Sometimes it is in unstable region, sometimes it is in stable region. So thus we have this electromagnetic torque of the induction motor is here. Where we this is running at a synchronous speed at this point and this speed omega r is equal to 0 at the beginning and omega r is equal to omega s as synchronous speed and if the number of pole is equal to 2 so omega m is equal to omega r and thus this is ok. So if this is a speed torque characteristics of induction motor now you have uh, you got a speed torque characteristics of the load and let us say that, uh, we have studied also the speed torque characteristics of a peculiar some type of load is one of the load is like this which is written as TL where TL is proportional to omega m square so we will get a speed torque characteristics like this what we can find is there is an intersection point for the where this electromagnetic torque is equal to the load torque or this electromagnetic torque is also equal to the motor torque or we can say motor torque is equal to the load torque when we write a dynamic equation of the any load what we write tm is equal minus tl is equal to j d omega m by dt this is the dynamic equation of the load torque at what condition the j has to be constant otherwise the another term would have been added up now this thing what is tl tl can be called as all the loads plus frictional load and rest so we can write here this tm is equal to tl only when omega m is constant or omega m, m has come to some constant value that is the rate of change of speed uh, will not be there is equal to zero if this term is zero then only this thing is valid so let, at this intersection point let us say this is omega r and if this speed is a stable this speed is coming under the stable region or this is a stable condition then the motor will continue to continue to run in this speed throughout the operation but if this speed is not in a stable region then it may accelerate or it may decelerate to confirm whether this speed is a stable region or not let us do try to solve in mathematical equation or also we can have a mathematic a mechanical way or graphical way to express the same first let us go for the graphical way and then we can go for the mathematical way let me draw the same thing once again or let me rub it out uh, this surface and again draw it again So here I have drawn the speed torque characteristics of in two figure so that we can take two different type of load and then we can express that how and why this point is stable or unstable. 
let me take a curve or uh, speed torque characteristics of a load TL is proportional to omega m square. And another load I will take simultaneously here where TL is nothing but constant. What I am getting is I am getting two intersection point over here 1 and 2. Here if I have TL1 like this if I have got another speed torque characteristics like this TL2 which is also proportional to omega m squared only the thing is that some constant coefficient uh, over here has been changed. So here also I am getting two point here 1 and 2. Now to understand that whether this one is stable or not what we, I will do is that I will try to disturb this position that means I will try to move this uh, speed a little bit more higher or ahead of it like initially this is the stable operating region omega r or we can say at this point this is running at some value omega m I made a delta change over here delta omega m change over here in the positive y axis we change the positive y axis some delta change what we observe is that at this particular point of time or at this particular point the TL is greater than TM load is load torque is greater than the motor torque so it will move backward and it will again come back to its original position. Let us do in a reverse way. Let us bring it back or push it back to the lower speed. If I push it back to the lower speed, what we observe is that the motor torque is greater than the load torque. If motor torque is greater than the load torque, again it will move forward to its original position. You can do the same exercise for the position number 2 here. If you move forward, what you are observing is TL is greater than TM. The red one is greater than the blue one. So obviously it will come back to its original position. Again you move it backward, you will find the blue one is greater than the red one TM is greater than TL so if motor torque is more it will go back to the original position so at this particular point the position number one and position number two both are stable for the two different type of load we let us take a case over here in position number one at this point if we move forward we find that in this line the red one is greater than the blue one that is TL is greater than TM that means oh good the load torque is high so it will bring that motor back to the original position. If I make a delta change or decrease the speed try to make a delta change in the decreasing in speed I find that the blue line is greater than the red one so TM is greater than TL so if motor torque is more again it will push it to the original position so this position number one is stable the position number two over here is if you make a delta change in the positive speed what you find the blue line is greater than the red one that means TM is greater than TL. Oh, what happened? If you give a higher speed or there is some chain disturbance and it goes to the higher speed, what happened is the motor torque is more than the load torque, so it will again the speed will increase. So the position number two cannot be the stable region. Only the one is a stable, whereas the position number two is unstable. 
So mechanically, uh, from the graph, we can also know that whether the point is in a stable or unstable region. We can also solve this by using the numerical method. In numerical method, we will make a de uh, delta change in the speed. If we make a delta change in the speed in this equation, let us say equation 1, if we make a delta change in the speed, so there will be a delta change in the motor torque. There will be a delta change in the load torque and that what we write is here omega m plus delta omega m whole divided by dt. Let us say equation 2. So if I subtract equation 1 from equation 2 what we get is delta Tm is minus delta Tl is equal to Jd del omega m by dt. Equation 3. We will re rewrite this equation 3 and try to solve this. Delta Tm minus delta Tl is equal to J T omega m by dt. This delta Tm, what we can write this as dTm by d omega m into delta omega m. This one as dTl by d omega m into delta omega m and that is what we can write like this. Take it uh, this thing as common, we can write down as dTm by d omega m dtl by d omega m into delta omega m is equal to j d omega m by dt. I am rewriting this again, this one first. I am taking it on the right hand side or uh, changing the sign over here. So let us say plus, so this will interchange dtl by d omega m minus dtm by d omega m into del omega m is equal to 0. What it is look like? It look like a single order equation. So here I write here as a delta omega m right this has to be delta omega m delta omega m the bracket. So here we can take out this uh, delta omega m, we can solve it, this is, let us say this is y, we can write this, uh, rewrite the same thing as j dy by dt plus some k y is equal to 0. This is a single order equation, we can get the value of y out of it. So here nothing but delta omega m is equal to delta omega m 0, that is some initial value into e to the power minus this by this so it was like dtl by d omega m minus dtm by d omega m by j so let us say 1 by j into time t is equal to 0. This expression what we get let us give the number to this. So is 3. This is what we get is the final expression 4. What does this mean is that y is equal to some constant let us say 5 e to the power minus this is let us say some value 10 into t. If this is the expression what does it mean? It means that y and time is there, the y will have initial value 5 and this will decay with the time, with a time constant 1 by 10. Now here, to, so this equation will decay and if suppose there is a plus 10, instead of decaying it will have rise exponentially and go to the unstable region. 
so we want this coefficient to be this coefficient to be uh, negative it is already minus sign is there so this term this particular term to be positive let me rewrite this term dtl by d omega m minus dtm by d omega m we want this term to be positive greater than 0 if this term is greater than 0 then only this will decay then only there is a negative exponential term and it will decay so if this term is greater than 0 we can write dtl by d omega m is greater than dtl by sorry dtm by d omega m that is rate of change of load torque with respect to the speed should be greater than the rate of change of motor torque with respect to the speed if this will be the condition if this condition is met in this axis so if i analyze this one and two and what we are saying is dtl by d omega if this is greater than dtm by d omega m then the point is this point is stable for that when i write dt by d omega my omega has to be need to be in the x axis and then torque is in the y axis then i can get at a particular point what is the slope so there i can find that what is delta t by delta omega we can check like this so while analyzing it mathematically you need to put uh, imagine like this y axis as a x1 and this one is y what is dtl by d omega and what is dtm by d omega you need to compare and get your answer here so mathematically what is the conclusion is that we should have the load rate of change of load torque with respect to the speed should be greater than rate of change of motor torque with respect to the same speed if this is the condition met then the point or that uh, point in the speed torque characteristics will be called as a stable uh, so it is the motor is running in a steady state right and there is no change in the speed and then even though there is some disturbance in the speed or plus and minus it will come back to its original position and tm is equal to tl so this is the condition for load uh, this is a condition for steady state stability so we have uh, learned through graphical way as well as from the numerical way thank you very much